going on? How y'all doing? Well, this video is going to be about that Philadelphia DA, Larry Krasner. And he said, he's apologizing, fake. He had the nerve to say that Philadelphia was not experiencing any problems with crime. And my reaction was, huh? Are you that white and out of touch that you don't see all the lives lost? Well, no. See, when it's black and brown, it don't count. You know, this was happening in the suburbs. Then he, you know. I'll put it to you like this. You know, Ben Simmons has been AWOL for the Sixers. Well, if Ben Simmons was playing Philadelphia 76ers and he had a tragedy happen to him, he would care. But Ben Simmons, just the other brother walking down the streets in them Philadelphia streets like Joel B, he doesn't see anything. White privilege allows you to get away with saying this. People are appalled because they're seeing the crime happening. But are they really appalled because they don't understand where he's coming from with his white privilege? His fake crocodile apology what I call the Kyle Rittenhouse fake crocodile tears, which he can save. Because let's be realistic. And you, I've been to the city of brotherly love, and it ain't quite like that. I got family there, too. Let me tell you something. It is known for the get down like that. Them streets ain't no joke. And for this white boy to come off and pop off and say, oh, I don't see any crime problems. I don't feel yeah, You don't see. Because you don't have to see. Because your skin has given you the protection for the direction to be oblivious. That's what it has allowed you to do. I shook my head when I heard about this turkey, but I'm not shocked or surprised. There's a lot of them that think like him. And look, you're getting paid X amount of money every year. You're driving, you're in the burbs. You don't have to go to that side of town. And that's the reality of a lot of white America. They never encounter anything black unless they watch it on TV or buy the music or watch a movie. They don't have to have anything black in their world. Don't have to be responsible or for the racial injustice and to see what's going on. It's two different Americas and it's always been this way. This ain't nothing new. So when you have a DA, I bet you one thing, if a black dude props up in this courtroom, believe he's going to say fry, die, and lay to the side. It's a white cat. Let's take him to 7-Eleven give him a Slurpee. I mean, I'm telling you, when you hear those kind of it's not shocking or surprising. It's just that the audacity to say it in 2021, but it's not really surprising. We know white privilege is alive and well. You just need somebody who's honest to tell you in your face. He ain't a, he's not apologizing because he has some sudden case of, oh, they're black and brown. They're black. He has a sudden case because he got embarrassed because how much egg, but his white privilege has allowed him to walk around rose-colored blindness and be oblivious. A lot of them are. Give me your thoughts and takes about this DA. <laughs> Please hit the like, subscribe, welcome thoughts and comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And it's just like the white liberal, like I don't see color, I don't see nothing. But Stevie Wonder can. I'm out.